I think there are multiple strengths. Um, it's a, an adventure. We are looking to new horizons, and this is possible making a cooperation, strong cooperation between physicians and engineers, between physician and mathematician. So I do believe that only together we can discover new horizons, and these horizons can be the prediction of the new RMEs. And uh, when we do our cardiac ablation, we are facing always issues like where to ablate, or sometimes what uh, happens if I do this line of ablation. And sometimes mathematicians with their simulation can help to uh, say exactly where to ablate. But at the present time, we are doing this offline. So it's just a research we are now performing. But in the near future, I believe this will be online. So at the present time, we have to work hard together to answer to these questions. Um, it's, a, it's a question, it's not a belief of uh, data that we have to analyze together. And uh, physician, physician and mathematician should work, cooperate together to understand where exactly we fail. Because sometimes in our cardiac population, we have some uh, arrhythmogenic answer or we have some new arrhythmias coming from uh, the circuit we have laid and therefore mathematicians should uh, work together and cooperate to face and solve these problems. Uh, a multidisciplinary team in a cardiac electrophysiology lab where there is an imaging uh, a specialist, where there is a mathematician, an engineer and a cardiac electrophysiologist. So these four figures are really important to discover new horizons in cardiac electrophysiology. Um, imagine a world where we do our mapping and we analyze the cardiac conduction system and merging this data, electrical data with the imaging we can ask the mathematician online with an algorithm to calculate which are the arrhythmia that we can have on that substrate. So I do believe that all together with this cooperation we can uh, face new arrhythmias. So multidisciplinary team is the key of uh, the future.